Hello, this is Andrew with Missing Remote. A few days ago, Ubiquity released Unify Protect 1.14.11 for the UDM Pro and UNVR. I've been running it for a few days, and um, thankfully it's been very stable, but I wanted to just do a quick post around what, what's different, what's changed, um, and the uh, improvements. There aren't actually that many improvements, at least not for things that I use. Here we can see what Unify has listed as improvements, it mostly revolves around the G4 cameras and the doorbell, which I'm still hoping to get one, but every time I get an in-stock notification, it's out of stock 30 seconds later. So unfortunately, still haven't gotten one. The one that I'm most interested in is the improved enhanced motion algorithm. I've been using that on all of my cameras because I think it works a little bit better than the standard, even pre 1.14.11. I haven't really noticed that big of a difference between pre and post update, but I, I'm, I'm firmly in the camp that I'd rather have more motion captures and then have it miss things that aren't or that it should be recording. So if I do notice anything different with this, I will definitely um, update that later. But so far, I haven't really noticed anything. Well, mostly because I found that it worked pretty well beforehand. Hopefully, it continues to work really well. The other change, which is interesting, is that it seems that they removed the AP mode. So you, you could uh, connect to the wireless cameras, like the G3 micro cameras using Wi-Fi instead of Bluetooth. But it looks like they took that away to improve the Bluetooth adoption reliability. I'm not sure why they needed to do that. Um, I have found that adoption does not work very well with Android devices. So when I have to adopt a micro camera, I usually use some kind of eye thingy, either an iPad or an iPhone. It just works better than any Android phone that I've used. And maybe this is one of those things that one of the reasons why is because they, the Bluetooth just wasn't working well with a broad spectrum of devices. Looking at, there's a few bug fixes. Um, I haven't experienced any of these, but uh, if you have, then great. Looking at the UI, the biggest difference here is that the NVR shows up as a device. And when you click on it, you can see some basic statistics around how much capacity it's using per day and the number of cameras. I don't have any 4K cameras yet, so that's why that number is zero. So I think that that's great. It shows me all kinds of really useful statistics, the temperature, uh, the hardware revision, which is pretty cool, and the, the firmware that the underlying device is running. One thing that I found kind of odd on the UDM Pro, which did not happen when I updated my UNVR, was that the time and camera name overlays didn't persist on, th on the wired cameras. They did persist on the micros, which was kind of strange. But again, it only happened on the UDM Pro. So I'm not exactly sure what the deal is with that. And then the other change that I noticed is that there is, you can see this looks a little bit different and the green means that it's connected. Red means that it's not connected, but there's a new blue color, which it shows when it's updating. So that's kind of neat. Uh, otherwise, it's pretty much same as usual, which means that it generally works pretty well. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this useful. If you did, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Cheers.